Alright, hi guys, what's up? This is your boy Brittany Dean, and today I'm bringing you guys my first documentary. Before this gets started, somebody in the comments said uh, you should make a documentary based on your uh, childhood, so that's what I'm gonna do. And a big thank you to Michael McConnell for doing the narration, and uh, let's get into this. <laughs> Brady Ryan Christopher Dean was born on October 27th, 1997 in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. Now he was born 27 weeks early and he was one pound and 13 ounces. Now when Brady was two years old, he got into a trampoline accident and broke his right leg. Fast forward eight years later, he smashed his teeth out on the same trampoline. Yikes. Yeah, so when I was uh, two years old, either two or four, I, uh, I was jumping on the trampoline and I I broke my leg, broke my right leg, and it, I, I don't know, I don't really remember how it happened, but all I know is I was on the trampoline and I just snapped my leg. I guess I was too like frail, too, too like, you know. And then uh, I also broke my teeth on the trampoline too. And um, yeah, that was, uh, that's why I don't smile. Be honest, you know, I, I'm very so self conscious about like my smiling and things like that. Now, growing up, his mother, she was a single mom working her butt off to take care of her son and moving from time to time during his younger years. Brady's younger school life was tough for him after being diagnosed with ADHD. Well, he felt it was hard to make friends and focus. Now, for years to follow, he continued to struggle making friends, leading to being bullied throughout elementary school. Elementary school was tough for me, I was uh, bullied throughout it. I mean, like, I'm sure every other kid, you know, uh, and kids being kids, you know, they're mean to each other, you know, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I was just one of those guys that was just bullied and it is what it is. Like, you know what? I used to go to school, which I used to wear tux like once a week, once a week. And um, yeah, that's it, it's an average James Bond. Around the age of seven years old, he met his stepdad, who would go on to become one of his biggest mentors in life. Continuing his youthful journey through grade six and seven, he was fortunate enough to go to a private school. In grade seven, he was introduced to this drum corpse called the Blue Saints, where he would later then find a passion for music and piano. Now, with some help from his grandmother, well, there he would learn music and visualize it on the field, and then go around the U.S. East Coast performing music in front of hundreds of people, and he even got a chance to play in Lucas Oil Stadium. Stadium. Now, during his sophomore years, well, he wasn't the best at making friends, but he went to a performing arts school where he entered as a music major, and he later found his passion for filmmaking in grade nine. That was when he made his first zombie film. During his grade nine year, well, he also found a new passion, which was pretty popular amongst his peers. He was playing a lot of Call of Duty. Now, this led to him editing his clips and making video montages. And then he found an interest for making YouTube videos around 2013. Now, during his senior year, it's where he felt like he started to fit in. And he would play soccer Hello, on a soccer team. team. He also made and piano videos friend. for him and his friends. Yes, no. And he would sing, he would play piano. He was overall just having a great time. In 2017, Brady graduated high school, and from there, he went to a post-secondary school for TV broadcasting. Now, here, he met some like-minded people who were also interested in film. Now, during these years, he would learn how to edit short films, he learned how to light a set, he learned script writing and more. Now, this is where he would spend more time making YouTube videos, and due to an event in his life, well, this caused him to drop out of the program. Brady found himself in tough times throughout May of 2019. Now, Brady was going through jobs one after another, working in the mountains of Canaxis. That's out in Alberta. Now, sadly, he got let go over not handing his papers for work in on time. Now, in April Bro, that same year, he found himself with his aunt and uncle for a month. And unfortunately, to, uh, well, some bad choices, this got him kicked out of the house. And he was essentially homeless for a month and a half. Now, during that time, while he was homeless, well, he stayed in a homeless shelter, which was called the Mustard Seed, located in Calgary. That was during this time that he met and heard people's stories. He also met some friends that he will never forget. 
2019. Um, that was, I would say, the most toughest year of my life when it came to just new experiences or, you know, um, meeting new people, exploring, traveling, you know, that this was like the year where I got to do that. Well, to be honest, I took some money from my uh, aunt and uncle. Uh, during this time, I, I was really addicted to marijuana and I didn't really know um, how to really handle my emotions and just, you know, what by being let go through jobs. It took a toll on me where I just didn't know how to handle my own emotions and my own self. And so I say like, you know, marijuana, it's not a dig ding, it's, it's not this, it's not that, but really it is for me, I've, th that's my one problem is I've always had an addiction battling marijuana. It's like, wow, like there, I don't know how to explain it, but just something in my brain just clicked and it was just a tough time for me. But that's the part of life. Life is about learning and making mistakes and learning from them. And, you know, I, as much as I hate what I did back then, the only learn is through learning through your experiences and hopefully you never do it again. I, you know, obviously all actions have consequences and, and that was the consequence for it. I just want to say a big special thank you goes out to uh, my mom, my my stepdad, my grandpa and grandma for always just being there supportive. My grandpa or my grandma for giving me the photos for the documentary. Um, and my mom for just over all supporting me and same with my stepdad, you know, even though that you guys know the struggles that I went through in my life, you guys were still there. Um, supporting and I know it's been hard for everybody in my family to you know to deal with things that happened in my life in the past previous um, I just want to say again thank you Michael McCudden for doing the narration and like I said to my grandparents and everybody else especially Pratima you I just want to say thank you to you for just being in my life for the year you really uh, made me mature and grow up over the past year that we were together um, and uh, I just want to thank you and just anybody else that's been around. And uh, let's get into 2020, 2021. And this has been the documentary. And I'll see you guys later. Till then, peace. And thank you so much for coming out and just watching it. So it means a lot. Take care, everybody. Cheers. Around 2021, when life was starting to take shape and things were going a lot better for Brady. He found a place with his brother and his father, and during that time, he found himself employed, and later, he found himself in a relationship. Now, that pushed him to be a better person all around. Now, landing a job and buying a car, all of a sudden, the future was looking bright for the young Deanster. He was able to further his career in YouTube with the ability to meet the Nelk Boys and Michael McCrudden from before they were famous. He even was able to finish college in culinary school and push the content that he always desired to make out onto YouTube and to the masses. Congrats to Brady on everything he's overcome and we wish him all the best.